Hello everyone, welcome to RC Aeronauts. This video is specially for all those people who have just started aero modeling and for those people who doesn't know how servo mechanism is done. So to begin with it, servo majorly has five components: embedded board, potentiometer, a DC motor, gear system, and a shaft. So this embedded board acts as a brain to your servo, which receives the signal from PWM wire and powers the DC motor. On further, this DC motor rotates in a particular direction to move the shaft. So the potentiometer which is installed here is uh, used to detect how much amount of moment should be generated on the output shaft. So once you rotate your DC motor, you have to stop at some particular time. So to know when to stop, this potentiometer gives the positioning information to your control board. And this control board sends that message to DC motor so that your DC, <coughs> DC motor knows where to stop the rotation. So the DC motor which is installed here will be of high speed and low torque. So to reduce that we use a gra uh, train gear system which helps us to reduce the speed and increase the torque. So our output shaft is installed here which is connected to the servo horn. So this is used to move the control on the model. So uh, let us check the working mechanism of a servo. So this is the working mechanism of a servo. A servo horn is connected to a control rod. 